What's up guys, my name is Brandon and a week after Apple released iOS 11.2 beta 2 and just four days after releasing iOS 11.1.1 to the public, Apple decides to drop iOS 11.2 beta 3 to registered developers today on a Monday. So of course in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at what's new here in iOS 11.2 beta 3, see what's kind of been changed as well as some bugs I've noticed with beta 2. Before we get any further into the video, I do just wanna point out that I am using the iPhone 8 Plus for this video, but I fully plan on using the iPhone 10 for every future video, just because I feel like there's going to be more changes and more fixes on the iPhone 10 since Apple's really focusing on that now. But I didn't use it for this video, but for future videos, I will be using the iPhone 10 for all the beta updates. So I just want to give you guys a heads up on that. But anyways, taking a look here at 11.2 beta 3, you can see it came in at 214.6 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus, which did of course come from developer beta 2. So let's go ahead to our settings and check out the build number. You can see there that the build number is 15C5107A. So still a long build number, so we can expect at least one more beta here for 11.2. Uh, so now let's talk about some of the new changes here in 11.2 beta 3. So the first one I noticed actually comes within control center. So you can see there that the Bluetooth icon is white now. So I'm going to show you the pop-up you get now when you disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth from the control center. So let's go ahead and tap and disable Wi-Fi. And you'll see that we now get a new message. And again, this pops up for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So it says disconnecting nearby Wi-Fi until tomorrow. The current Wi-Fi network and others nearby will be disconnected until tomorrow. Wi-Fi will continue to be available for airdrop, personal hotspot, and location accuracy. So this is very interesting to see and I'm, I'm not sure why Apple took so long to actually implement something like this because people have been wondering about this thinking this is a bug and how it's not supposed to act and so I'm really surprised that it took Apple so long to get a pop-up on here you know this should have been in like iOS 11.0.x or you know iOS 11.1 at the latest but they do have this pop-up now for both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from the control center and you can see that they both turn white now when they are disabled and if we go ahead and re-enable it you can see it turns back to blue disable it turns back to white and you only get that pop-up one time. Now, speaking of Bluetooth, there was a bug going around that a lot of people on Twitter reported to me, and that was that the turn on Bluetooth notification would pop up when entering the app store. So basically, a lot of people got the pop up saying that you needed to enable Bluetooth. So that has been fixed here in beta three. Thankfully, a lot of people are going to be very relieved that that was fixed because that was a pretty annoying bug because it happened when you went into the app store every time. There was also a very annoying video stuttering bug that occurred in YouTube and Netflix on beta two. So basically, the video would just continuously stutter even after closing out the app and opening it back up, it would continuously stutter. So people are saying that that has been fixed here in beta three as well. But again, I never encountered that. So I cannot say for sure if that has been fixed, but people online are reporting that it has been. So that should be good for anybody that encountered that bug. And yet another bug that was in iOS 11.2 beta two was the audio bug in Spotify. So basically if you were in Spotify and you got a phone call, the music would stop playing until you force quit the application. So thankfully that has also been fixed here in beta three. And then I also wanted to confirm something that I said in the beta two video that is true. And that is the pop-up if you guys remember in beta one you got a prompt you got a pop-up prompting you to update to a newer version even though you were on the latest version there were actually no reports of that in beta 2 like I said so that has been fixed I just wanted to confirm because it wasn't really confirmed I said that I haven't encountered it and that nobody has yet but we didn't know for sure if it was fixed but that has been fixed so thankfully you will not be getting any pop-ups prompting you to update to the latest version of iOS even though you are already on the latest version now as far as the performance and the battery life I'm pretty sure it's going to be the exact same as beta 2 especially battery life I can't imagine battery life's gonna be really any different from beta 2 the same with performance you don't really expect those with these kind of updates but of course I will be doing a follow-up video a little bit less than a week from now so make sure you stay tuned for that because I will confirm if performance and battery is the same or if it's better or worse and I'll also talk about some other changes and features as well because I'm sure there are more that I have not covered yet in this video but anyways guys that's pretty much it here for iOS 11.2 beta 3 again we have the new feature in control center for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi we have the new pop-up and they turn white and then a lot of bug fixes and again, I'm sure there's other changes out there that I did not even cover yet. So I'll be sure to do that in the follow up video. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 11 beta coverage. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.